The Unicorn and the Princess's Quest Once upon a time, in a kingdom filled with magic and wonder, there lived a kind and adventurous princess named Isla. Isla was known throughout the land for her bravery and big heart, always helping others in need. But there was one thing Isla couldn't solve on her own. Her kingdom's magical fountain had stopped flowing, and the fields and forests were drying up. Without the fountain's magical waters, the crops wouldn't grow, and the animals would soon go thirsty. One day, as Isla was sitting in the royal garden, thinking about how to save her kingdom, an old, wise owl named Orion flew down from the trees and perched on a branch beside her. Princess Isla, Orion hooted softly, there is one creature who can help you restore the fountain, the unicorn of the enchanted forest. Only her magic can make the waters flow again. Isla's eyes widened. She had heard stories of the unicorn, a beautiful and mystical creature that lived deep in the forest, but no one had seen her in many years. Determined to save her kingdom, Isla stood up, her heart full of hope. I will find a unicorn and ask for her help, she declared. Without wasting a moment, Isla set off on her quest. She rode her horse through the dense woods, following the ancient paths that led deeper into the forest. The trees grew taller and the air became cooler as she ventured into the heart of the enchanted forest. Birds chirped softly from the branches and the wind whispered through the leaves. As Isla rode further, she came to a small clearing where the sunlight filtered through the trees, casting a golden glow. And there, standing among the wildflowers, was the most beautiful unicorn Isla had ever seen. The unicorn had a shimmering white coat, a long, flowing mane, and a sparkling horn that glowed like moonlight. Unicorn, Isla called softly, her voice full of wonder. The unicorn turned her head and smiled kindly. I am Serafina, the unicorn of the enchanted forest. What brings you here, Princess Isla? With a deep breath, Isla explained the troubles her kingdom was facing. The magical fountain has dried up and my people are in danger. I've come to ask for your help. Serafina's eyes sparkled with understanding. I see, she said gently. Restoring the magic of the fountain is no simple task, but I can help. To bring the fountain back to life, we must gather three special ingredients from the forest. Only then will its magic be restored. Isla nodded eagerly. Tell me what to do, and I will do it. Serafina's horn glowed brightly as she spoke. First, we need a moonflower petal, which blooms only at night. Then, we must find a crystal feather from the rare phoenix that lives atop the tallest mountain. Finally, we'll need water from the rainbow stream which lies beyond the misty meadow. Isla felt a mix of excitement and determination. Let's start with the moonflower, she said. Serafina lowered herself, inviting Isla to climb onto her back. With a swift leap, Isla mounted the unicorn, and together they galloped through the forest, their hearts set on the adventure ahead. As night fell, they arrived at a field filled with glowing moonflowers. The flowers shimmered under the light of the moon, their soft petals gently swaying in the breeze. Isla carefully plucked one of the delicate petals and tucked it into a pouch. Now, to find the phoenix, Serafina said. They galloped toward the tallest mountain, where the phoenix, a magnificent bird of fire and light, was known to live. As they climbed higher, the air grew thin and the wind howled around them, but Isla and Serafina pressed on. At the peak, they spotted the phoenix, its golden feathers gleaming in the sunlight. Isla called out to the phoenix, Great phoenix, we seek a crystal feather to save my kingdom. The phoenix, with a kind and wise gaze, nodded. It flapped its wings, and a glowing crystal feather floated down toward Isla. She caught it carefully and thanked the phoenix before they began their descent. Just one more task, Serafina said as they galloped toward the rainbow stream. The stream sparkled with every color of the rainbow, its waters flowing gently through the meadow. Isla filled a small vial with the magical water, completing their quest. With all three ingredients, Isla and Serafina returned to the magical fountain in the kingdom. The people of the kingdom gathered around, watching as Serafina stood before the fountain, her horn glowing brightly. 
Isla handed her the moonflower petal, the crystal feather, and the rainbow water. With a flick of her horn, Serafina combined the ingredients and sprinkled them into the fountain. Suddenly, the ground shook gently, and the fountain's waters began to bubble and flow again, sparkling with magic. The fields turned green, the trees blossomed, and the animals rejoiced. The kingdom was saved. The people cheered for Isla and Serafina, their hearts full of gratitude. Isla turned to the unicorn, her eyes shining with joy. Thank you, Serafina. I couldn't have done it without you. Serafina smiled warmly. You are brave and determined, princess. Your heart led the way. And from that day on, Isla's kingdom flourished with life, and Serafina became a guardian of the magical fountain, always watching over the land with her gentle magic.